What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we get to check out a game that actually I've been excited about for years. This game has been on my wish list for like literally years, like a really, really long time. It's been on there since God only knows when on Steam. Uh, it's a game about a man building a bunker in preparation for the end of the world. I like building. I like the post-apocalypse. And so here we are, all lined up to make a video. Let's dive straight on in. We're going to play the first 20 or 30 minutes of this demo that they've released to get people kind of like hyped about the game. And then we'll see if it's something that you wanted to add to your wish list or if at the end of the video, having seen the game, it's something that you'd rather pass on. Let's play. And we are back at your place of residence, citizen. For an attempted escape, we have confiscated your vehicle. This is a standard procedure. Obviously, you're also prohibited from buying or registering a new one. Mm. The agency expresses hope that you will not attempt to leave Murricaville again. <laughs> sure. Now I plan to fall back in love with this beautiful town. This is a commendable attitude, citizen. From today onwards, you are also on probation. I will come for a brief inspection every day to check for any subversive actions or items. This is standard procedure. Mm. I'm sure you will comply, and my visits will only be a formality. Bless the president. Bless. All right, well, let's look around. Since apparently we've got a little piece of cardboard over here that wants to teach us how to do our job, uh, we can move the camera around. So effectively, we can just do this stuff right here. Yeah. We can move him around by clicking. We can investigate the chair. Do we just, like, sit on it? Time to get prepared. Double click to run. Not a good time for that. Okay. So we can get around a little bit faster if we want to. We can put a little hot sauce on it. Put a little bacon on it. And then we can also... Oh, really? We can click on an object to see what it does for us? Uh, yeah, we can open that apparently. So that's kind of cool. I guess we can interact with most of these. If you are tired after your escape attempt and you deserve a nap. Alright, let me go back upstairs and get a nap. I love naps, dude. Especially naps during... Like, the best naps are the naps that take place during times when you're not supposed to be unconscious. Like, that's the best way to get the maximum amount of restfulness out of a nap, is when you, like, take a nap at a time when you're not supposed to. Alright, so we got about 30 minutes left at the end of this. Uh, looks like we need to go get some food. We'll go do that. You are hungry, go eat something. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be down on in here. We're gonna take care of business. It's got kind of like a Jones in the Fast Lane meets, like, I don't know. Like, Half-Life 2 type vibe to it. I don't really know what's going on. Uh, we've got some food inside of here. So we've got soup. We've got some uh, beets. We've also got some cabbage and some carrots. Alright. I'm gonna eat a carrot real quick. Like, I obviously don't think that the carrot is gonna be that helpful. But I'm gonna try. Yeah, dude, just mash out on like five carrots. That's a normal dinner for a fully grown man. Just five unprepared carrots with the green still on. Keep your preparedness high. Okay, so our preparedness meter is right there. And it's our most valuable stat, apparently. You can tell because they put a very thick black border around it. If it drops to zero, you will faint. Okay. Do I have, like, anxiety or something? Like, why is it that my preparedness goes down, I faint? I have questions. Stay well-fed and well-rested to keep it high. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so we've got an escape plan over here. Let's go check that out. I don't know if running makes my hunger go down a little bit faster. Hmm. All right, so goal number one is to survive. Goal number two is to escape. You probably shouldn't have that on a cork board in your bedroom if we're having, like, government inspections every eight to nine seconds. That's all I'm saying is maybe put that in a bit more of a clandestine location. Oh, apparently I can break down furniture to get wooden stuff, too. All right. Uh, what does it want me to do down here? Uh, we can go to... Oh, we can build the first room of our bunker. Yeah, go ahead. Get down on in there. I mean, I have no idea how we're going to get... Like, we got to dig down into the earth, and there's also piping in the way. Like, that's a big danger, is you don't want to hit, like, a gas pipe, or you don't want to hit, like, an electrical line. Those are things that get you into that drama. What are we picking up right now? Just, like, soil? Oh, cool, we've got money. Nice. An apocalyptic dollar, and then this is just ground right here? Okay. So we've got to make a ladder for the bunker. All right. So we've got a workbench over here. Uh, I guess we can go and inspect it. We're going to go pull the cloth off the top, and we'll see how this affects everything. It looks like we've got diesel fuel and gas, or diesel oil and gasoline. Okay. 
There we go. Pull that off of there. Perfect. All right. So with our workbench, if we wanted to make it look good, we're going to need some metal and we're going to need some wood. So I guess we can buy that using our future money. Like I noticed that we had future money all up in our pockets. So I guess we do this all via mail order. All right. Go for it. The time for a trade. Sounds like a plan to me. Make an order, collect in two hours. All right. All right, so over here we can get, let's see here, what is this? So I needed like eight units. Of, oh, they want me to get eight. Okay. Well, I needed like 15, didn't I? I needed 15 wood and 15 of that. Yeah, maybe I'll just chop down a neighbor's tree or something. Oh, my trust level went up. Gotcha. Intradasting. All right. Go to the forest and find some wood. All right, let's go to the forest and find. I like this little cutout right here. I really, really like the way the map has little like con. It it has like little construction paper or little cardboard cutouts on it that have like drawings and whatnot. That's a really, really cool aesthetic. I dig it. All right, so we're in the level one forest right now. The smell of adventure. So there's a log right here, chunky and heavy, but worth taking home. All right, let's grab it. So we've got a massive log right there. I don't know how we loaded that onto our back without serious back pain, but we managed to pull it off. Uh, let me grab some blueberries while I'm out here too. Yeah, dude, let's just like partake of the uh, fat of the land. Oh, that's a walking spot that takes me deeper into the woods. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, well, let's just grab the logs where we can for the moment. I'm also going to grab as many of these berries as possible because you never know, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like that's actually a pretty good boon to our hunger meter. Like, that filled us up pretty solid. Uh, traps allowed area. Okay. What is this? It's a ropeway pillar used for traveling between forest areas and needs to be repaired first. So it's like a gondola or something? I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Like, it's a tower right there, but how do we get up? So it's a turkey and a deer habitat. Okay, well, I'm just here to, like, steal your logs, my boy. So, like, if we can just get those, that's fine. Uh, we grabbed plenty of food while we were here. Part of me is tempted to go deeper on into the woods and figure out what's going on. But... Let's stick to the let's stick to the task at hand for right now. Let's be a good citizen. That's the mailman. He loaded in like eight units of solid like steel into our inventory. Can I talk to this guy? Howdy ho, neighbor. I guess he doesn't want to talk right now. He's not much of a conversationalist. Uh, so we need to cut these logs into wood. We can definitely do that over here. Uh, when am I going to be visited? Oh, we disassemble them. Gotcha. When are we going to be visited by the government agent? I have a question. It looks like it's giving us extra time right here. I think that's what this stopwatch is for, is that every day he comes by, and like you know when he's coming by, because if you look, it's hitting zero, and then it's refilling. So my guess is that, oh, I thought we needed 15 metal. I guess my eyeballs just filled in the one and the five right there, so we're good to go. Uh, yeah, let's take it up to the next level, man. Perfect. All right, so we can craft a ladder now. Oh, that's what the extra three metal was for. Cool. All right, so we've got the ladder so we can go down to our bunker level. And then we just drag and drop it. Okay. Nice. I mean, what is that hidden under? Do we hide that under the rug? I think they're going to find that pretty quickly. There's got to be a better spot where we can hide this. Like, that's a massive hatch in the middle of the floor, and it looks like it's made out of, like, I don't know, some kind of basket-weaving hutch nonsense. You need lamps for the bunker, but you'll need glass to make them. Okay. Well, let's go see what we can find around. It looks like there's cups. Yeah. Grab all the plates. Alright, and then we'll go over to the workbench, and it wants me to disassemble these. Yeah, disassemble them. 
There you go. You now have at least some glass. Uh, we can make a wall lamp from the menu up inside of there, but since they've given me like infinite time to mess around with this and I can't be caught by the bad guys, uh, I might as well just go through and get it done. Like, make as much like raw glass as possible. Alright, so we've got a wall lamp right there. The wall lamp is now produced, and so I assume that it wants me to put this down here some- Oh wow, that's really, really huge. That's nice though, at least we got it centered on the first placement. I don't know if you guys are like anal like I am, like about getting things perfectly centered, but like everything that I do in every base that I ever craft in every video game needs to be centered properly, otherwise I just, I can't, you know, you need to go to sleep before 3 a.m. Okay, that's fine. Uh, go to sleep then. Bedtime is cool. I mean, I don't really sleep that much in real life. I've never been much of a sleeper. I maybe get three or four hours of sleep a night. I just, I'm not a big sleeper. I don't like sleeping. Which is weird, because like when I wake up in the morning, I'm also bummed out and be like, Oh man, I want to sleep a little longer. It's a strange state of mind. I can't really explain it to you. Alright, so day one is knocked out, and we are the champion of day one and evading the government. Alright, so did we get more free money? Is that what just happened? Uh, agent inspections, he will come soon. You need to hide or grab suspicious items and open the door for him. Okay, so that's already hidden. Uh, we need to cover that up so that we don't get caught. Hurry along. I don't know how much time we have to cover this up. There we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, did I need to hide the board? Oh, I can turn it? Oh, dude, I didn't see that part. I didn't see that it was lit up. That yellow color is kind of hard to see. So the workbench is hidden. That's hidden. But I didn't hide the I didn't hide the board right there. So we got problems. Uh, I think he's gonna catch us. I thought I had to get the door a little bit faster too. That's it, huh? He's not gonna go like underneath anything or like dig around or like check for lint or nothing? Alright, so, investigation result. We have a negative score. Our suspiciousness is now 15. So they found my escape plan and they found my workbench. Gotcha. That was close. I gotta be more careful. Alright. So put the workbench in our bunker. I think, honestly, you're supposed to get caught on that one. I came down here, and then he basically went over to the door by himself once I covered up the hatch. And so I think you're supposed to get caught right there in order to expose you to sort of, I guess, the suspicion system that the game has going on. Yeah, we'll grab that too. And then also, I would, su I would suggest we grab the escape plan as well. I want as many things hidden down in the bunker as humanly possible. Do I need to uncover that first? He, like, won't auto-uncover it? He says that he can't get over there, but, like, he should just come down, auto-uncover this, and then go down into there. There. So we can cover it. We can not cover it. Can you go down in there now? Okay. There we go. And then we just take that right there. Apparently, it bugs him out if you try to drop multiple things at once. All right, so we can check our journal. I should start with checking my ultimate plan. I like how we put ultimate in front of it. Like, the ultimate plan is nigh. Yeah, you might as well put that right there. What do we have going on? All right, so we got to establish a food source. So we're going to have to grow some plants in the bunker. All right, the agent would be happy to see that. To make your basic underground farm, you're going to need five room soil can be crafted in the workbench. We need five seed bags, and we can find them in our home. Okay, uh, let's look around for seed bags then. It's letting me open the cabinets now, so I'm guessing they're going to be inside the cabinets. Sometimes you got to put things inside storage cubes inside your house. Uh, there is some basic bait for some traps, I guess. You can open this on up and see what's around. Uh, we've got $10. Definitely take that. Throw that on in there. Probably going to need that as time goes along. We can check some of these cabinets. So there's some cabbage seeds. 
And we've got, what is that, a carrot seed? All right, so we've got cabbage seeds and carrot seeds. And then anything inside of here. There we go. All right, so I think we have all the seeds that we need. Our journal just updated, which is always a good sign when you're doing stuff. And then the other thing that we needed was we had an ultimate plant. Do we need to go back down here? Well, there's the room soil right there. And we've got to make five of these. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and make five of them. Oh, uh, I think that's how long your current task is going to take versus the time passing down here. I think I got a wrong idea about how this all functions. Yeah, I did, in fact. Maybe. Kind of. Yeah, I think every time I look at something, it's got an amount of time that it takes to craft. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so we've got the thingies. I don't really need the report any longer. The report can go. Uh, let's close all that down. And I figure, I don't know. Start mashing away some dirt down here. Seemed like an okay plan to me. Seems to be working out at a moderately successful level. Uh, is there anything else I can build around here? Yeah, go ahead and tear that open too. Oh, dude, I'm super hungry. I gotta get on that. My preparedness is tanking. Alright, let's go open up the fridge and see what we can find to eat. I'm sure there's something that we can nibble at. I'll probably take one of those soup cans. I'll be honest, they were looking kind of good. Uh, yeah, eat a soup can. There you go. Keep yourself all nice and filled up, champ. That's what I'm talking about. Can I get rid of that wall right there? Like, what if I don't want the wall in between those two? So he can't get there. That means that I've got to, like, maybe order another ladder or something. Yeah, let's go over here, and we need to get some more metal. So does he have... Oh, I can sell stuff, too. Nice. Well, that's good to know. Oh, dude, I thought that was... Oh, my God. I thought that was the agent. That scared the hell out of me. All right, so if we wanted to buy some stuff, we've got a green square, a red square... Something. It doesn't look like there's any metal remaining. Like, I can sell him some metal. Maybe I can tear something down. Alright, so I'm just gathering things from around my house to make some more metal so that maybe I can climb down to the next level, possibly. And, like, uh, get some basic work done. I don't know. Let's go ahead and we need to go get some sleep. It's, like, late at night. Actually, I should probably cover this up first. Yeah, come back over here. Come back over here and stop going up the stairs. I see you doing the thing that you're doing right now. Stop doing it. Apparently, he can't reverse on orders once he's, like, officially inside the little, like, transitional staircase of life or whatever. Uh, yeah, definitely cover that before we go to bed. Uh, we've got all contraband out of our house right now, so our inspection should go pretty well tomorrow. And I'm thinking that, like, we should have much less suspicion on us. I mean, I, one day of good behavior might not be enough, but I am interested in it. Alright, so day two. We don't know when this guy's gonna show up. Like, it's completely and totally possible that he might be in the neighborhood really, really soon. And that's the part that sort of worries me. Uh, I can craft a ladder right here, and we can have the ladder go down a little bit deeper. Uh, I don't know if we need two ladders in order to get into these little rooms right here. I also have things that I can disassemble for metal that I found around my house. I wasn't super sure how I get metal, but actually we can pick up the pots and the pans and the little crates and things, and we can break them down, so that'll work out long term, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and uncover this. Over here, I suggest we disassemble this. There we go. I don't know what time the dude shows up. I'm a little bit worried about it. Like, I don't have any kind of, like, hard timer to let me know when this man's gonna, like, come barging on into my property, just, like, inviting himself in and doing whatever. Uh, we did get another ladder right there, though, which is super sweet. Uh, so I'll put another ladder in, that way we can get down to the next floor. I think I'm going to need another light as well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we're going to need another wall lamp, because they said that you're not going to be able to use any of the stuff in your in your little rooms until you have the wall lamp. I'll see if I can install a door right there, too. There's our wall lamp. Uh, let's go ahead and hang that up right there. It's kind of a bummer that that's so small. Oh, I can walk in between them. Nice. Okay. Uh, make another lamp then. Yeah, make one more lamp. Yeah, dude, lampetize me, bro. Get on in there. I like illumination and the ability to see. It makes me pleased. 
Uh, go ahead and put that in like right there. It's actually pretty easy to like drag and drop and center things. Whatever their grid is, it's a pretty tight grid. Like some games, it always feels like things are offset to the left or to the right. I wish I could just knock that wall out right there. Is there a way to knock out that wall? Oh, really? There's like room upgrades and stuff too. So I guess I can slot in some kind of like chip or something inside of there. Or like some kind of transistor that's going to make that work better. That's kind of cool. Ah, so we drag and drop the room soil. Now I see it. Okay, so we can put that down in here, I guess. I don't know if we can walk on the room soil or if that's even allowed, but we can try. Yeah, put in the room soil right there. We'll have, like, our own little farm down here. Perfect. Can I put the room soil right there at the base foot? Okay, so I can't put that at the footer right there, but what I can do... Ah, so we got our cabbage seeds right there. Yeah, plant it. All right, and then over here, we'll do the same thing. Uh, go ahead and plant a cabbage. All right, and then over here, we'll go ahead and plant a carrot. Perfect, so all of our seeds have been planted. It looks like they all need access to water, and I need access to food. So the plants are the, aren't the only thing that's like hungry around here that I need to take care of. Uh, let's go ahead and... Looks like I can get water from right here. I don't know if I need to carry the tank along with me, but I'm gonna eat some food real fast. We're also a little sleepy. Like, I'm kind of surprised how sleepy we are. Uh, apparently, the cloth is back over here. I wonder if we could just throw things in the trash if we're trying to, like, get rid of them and hide them or something. I feel like that wouldn't work, but, like... Oh, it gives me, like, full-on, like, jerry cans. Okay. There you go. There you go. I like how it's just, like, clickable. Perfect. All right, so our room soils are all ready to go. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. I mean, they're going to grow. I think they need lights or something, though, wouldn't they? Like, these right here are not going to be, like, UV lamps or anything that you're going to need in order to get this stuff to grow. So I'm not like... It says it's growing. It says it is in a state of growing. So I'm going to trust it, and I'm going to assume that it's not lying to me right now. We're a little bit tired anyways. It's 4 in the afternoon. Ain't that the truth, dude? Just tired and 4 in the afternoon. Welcome to the life of an adult grown-ass man. Sleepy at 4 in the afternoon. I don't think there's a better way to describe the feeling of just being a fully grown adult. Just like an adult with, like, responsibilities and stuff. Sleepy at 4 in the afternoon. I'm sleepy at 4 in the afternoon, and when I go to bed at 10 o'clock tonight, I won't be able to sleep till like 3. I'll just lay there staring at the ceiling for some reason. All the tiredness will go away. Uh, let's go ahead and nap for a little bit while we wait for this guy to come back. Like we've, got all of our can we've got all of our contraband covered up, so I'm not really that worried about him showing up. Like, even if he barges in and I fail to get the door, like, eh, who cares? I may actually go back to the forest to see if I can find some more berries, too. Uh, I'd like to check on my plants. They're still planted, but I feel like they're missing something here. Like, I feel like there's something that we're supposed to have that they do not have. I mean, it's possible that it wanted me to put down five of them. You can't get there? Why can't you get there? Oh, because it's still covered. Gotcha. I gotta uncover it. Okay. I figured out how to make larger rooms, though, so that's a plus. Yeah, just build the damn thing, bro. There we go. Another building down. I should probably go to bed. It says I gotta go to bed by 3 a.m., but I don't really care about that. Uh, that doesn't really affect me altogether that much. I'm kind of a night owl anyways, so I'm not really that stressed about it. Yeah, make two lamps real fast. We got plenty of, gra uh, we got plenty of glass for that. It says it's only gonna take like 30 minutes. So I, I feel like we're in a decent spot to kind of just like throw in a lamp right there. And you can't throw in multiple things at once. Otherwise, the game like gets really, really upset with you. So I'm not going to. We got that hung up right there, and then we'll have this one hung up right here, and that looks pretty good. I'm actually fairly pleased with the way that's going. Uh, drop as much soil as you can inside of here. I want to have like a really, really nice little grow area. Yep, we're going to have like the most perfectest basement weed farm in the history of the universe. There we go. Put that over there. All right, now for each of these, I'm going to throw some seeds in. I don't know if I have enough water for all this. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, keep your farm room well lit. More light equals faster growth. Gotcha. 
So these guys are going to be growing pretty slowly. Uh, since I've got like a maximum amount of water food source established, let me check the plan again. Nice. Okay, so let's go back to our plan. We're going to take a look at our little cork board over here and make sure that it's all fitted up. Dude, it's got to smell terrible down here with no ventilation and just wet soil. Car, plane, rocket? No, that's just crazy. Oh, that's the end of the demo? That's a bummer. I was just starting to get into it, too. I was just starting to get a feel for the controls and, like, what I can do with the system. Well, anyways, this is Mr. Prepper. Uh, you can put it on your wish list at the bottom of the description. I'll have that for you. You can also check out the Discord. You can also check out the Twitch stream where I'm live almost every single day of the week. I'd love to have you. Other than that, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block was the Mr. Prepper demo that they put out during this summer of demos, apparently, that we've got going on on Steam. At first, I kind of like raised an eyebrow at it, but I actually kind of like it now. It's letting me dabble my toe in a lot of games that like I'm really excited about for like the future that I otherwise would not have gotten a chance to pl like, play or try. So... Not that upset about it. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for being here. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Goodbye, everybody.